Hello and welcome to this new video and uh, thank you for joining me. And today I want to talk to you, I'm going to get right in into this topic. Today I want to talk to you about abandonment. Uh, do you feel abandoned? Do you feel like people have left you and you feel lonely? You feel discouraged? You feel like nobody's there for you? Can I ask you a question today? Do you truly believe that God will never leave you? Ask yourself that. Do you truly believe that God will never leave you? Because I got a few scripture for you and you feel that you feel abandoned and you feel like lonely and you feel like everybody have walking away for you. I want to give you some scripture to encourage you today to let you know that God will never leave you. That God will never forsake you. That God is always there for you. And scripture number one is, and I always have issue pronouncing this, uh, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy <laughs> 31a says, The Lord himself goes before you, and he will be with you. He will never leave you, nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. If you started this new year, I encourage you not to be walking in fear. We declare that this year be a year of victory, a year that you will be successful, a year that God will complete his promise for your life because God will never forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. I know, I know, maybe uh, the, the past year, uh, 2022, was not a good year. Maybe 2021 was an even better year and 2020 even, even worse. But this 2023 declared that this is the year where the promises of God will be fulfilled for your life. And the, know that He goes before you. Psalms 37, 28 says, For the Lord love just and will not forsake his faithful ones. I, I got to give you this. You got to be faithful. You got to stay faithful to the Lord. Because the Lord loved you and he will never forsake you for those that are faithful. So we have to be faithful to the Lord. Wrongdoers, I, I, I got some more here. Wrongdoers will not be completely destroyed. Wrongdoers will, oh, sorry. Wrongdoers will be completely destroyed. Wrongdoers will be completely destroyed. The offspring of the wicked will perish. And this is the time where we need to uh, tie our pants up and walk in righteousness, the righteousness of the Lord. Because the wicked will be destroyed. If you're doing wickedness, if you are doing, uh, and you're not faithful to the Lord, and you are doing wrong, hmm, God eventually, the judgment of God eventually will come. Uh, people are afraid to talk about this, but let me tell you, uh, judgment is coming, and judgment, and when it comes, it's going to come heart and I encourage you to seek the Lord to take the time to put God first in your life he will not abandon you if you are faithful to him hallelujah I got another Bible verse here Psalms 68 6 says God said the lonely and familiar he lead out prisoner with singing but the rebellious live in some scorched land. Psalm 68, 6. Again, God set the lonely and familiar. He leads out the prisoner with singing, but the rebellious live in a sun scorched land. What that means? This means that you uh, uh, you, you in loneliness, and you in loneliness, he lead you out, out of that prison with singing, with praise. But don't be rebellious. This is not a year to be rebellious. This is not a year to live uh, a life of ungodliness. 
Uh, he will not abandon you. He wants to bring you in. He wants to bring you into the family. He, he will never leave you or forsake you. But we have some boundaries here. And we cannot have a foot in and a foot out. This is not the time for it. This is not the time for it. My last verse that I want to give you today, and I hope this will encourage you to really seek God, to really uh, uh, submit yourself to the Lord. Because He don't want to abandon you. He don't want to leave you. He don't want to forsake you. He wants to be there for you. But don't take it for granted. Don't take it as a license to sin. Don't take it as a license to do things that are not of the Lord. Because we... We, they're surprised that we're going to have to pay if we're not walking in the righteousness of God again. My last verse, John 14, 18 says, I will not leave you as an orphan. You're not an orphan. I know there's a spirit of orphan out there, especially for men that feel abandoned father by their father, that their father never was there for you, that your father had never been there for you, and you had that spirit of orphan in your life. But let me tell you that God is your father, that Jesus is your father, that the Lord paid the price for you, and he loves you, and he cares for you. He will, he will come to you. It says, he will come to you. God is coming to you today. Jesus is coming to you today. What are you going to do? Are you going to still feel like you've been abandoned because your, your mother or your father or your friend or your loved one have left you behind, have abandoned you, have not uh, uh, taken the time to reach out to you? Can I tell you that God is trying to reach out to you today? That God is extending his hand to you today. And I encourage you today to seek the Lord more than ever. God bless you, and I hope this encourages you, and I pray blessings over your life. I'll see you next time.